In this lesson, we want to talk about common and natural logarithms. Additionally, we're going to talk about the change of base formula for logarithms. Now, most of you already know that the log key on your calculator corresponds to a logarithm with a base of 10. This type of logarithm is known as the common logarithm. And when we write the common logarithm, we can use a little shorthand and not include the base. So something like log base 10 of x can be just written as log of x. So when you use this key on your calculator, again, you have to understand that the base is 10. So something like, let's say, log of 100, okay? If you type that into your calculator, log, and then for the argument, just put 100, this is going to give you a result of 2. And again, the reason is because this is log base 10 of 100, and 10 to the second power, or 10 squared, gives me an answer of 100. So this guy has a value of 2. All right, so additionally, most calculators also come with this ln key. So this ln key represents the natural logarithm. So this is going to be a logarithm with a base that's our special number e. So this guy right here. So you remember the special number e about 2.718. We talked about this earlier in the chapter when we were looking at different compound interest scenarios. So it turns out that the natural logarithm comes up a lot when you have problems that involve growth or decay. So you'll see this a lot in science class. You also see it a lot in math class, economics class, things like that. So log base e of x, we can write this in a shorthand notation by saying ln for the natural log of x. And if you wanted to calculate the natural log of some number, let's say 15, for example, you'd hit the ln key on your calculator. And then when the parentheses come up, just put 15 in, okay, and hit enter. And in this case, you get approximately, because this is an irrational number, 2.708. So 2.7. 0, 8. And again, I'm rounding this. In a lot of situations, you're going to have to round things because you're going to get an irrational number. All right. So now what I want to do is go into this change of base formula for logarithms. And this is useful because, again, most calculators just have the log key and the ln key. I know that nowadays some of the TI-84s and the TI-89s and, you know, the upper end calculators do let you punch this in directly and get an answer. But it's so useful to know the change of base formula. So let's say I start with log base 2 of 3, and I don't know what it is, so I just say it's equal to x. Okay, from here I can put this in exponential form, so 2 to the power of x is going to give me 3. 2 to the power of x is going to give me 3. So I have the log key available to me on my calculator, so let's say I take the log of both sides, and again this is a logarithm with a base of 10. So log of this side and log of this side. So this comes down from our power property. So we get x times log of 2 is equal to log of 3. Okay, so how do we solve for x? Well, we already know how to do this. We just divide both sides by what's multiplying x. So in this case, it's log of 2. Okay, nothing's changed. So log of 2 over here. And basically, this is going to cancel, right? That's gone. So I get that x, or the value of this guy, is going to be equal to log of 3 over log of of 2. And I can calculate this using my calculator, right? So this is approximately, because I'm going to have to round here, it's an irrational number. I would say 1.585. So 1.585. With that being said, let's take this process and dive into a general formula. So we don't need to set it equal to x each time and go through this complicated thing. What you'll realize is that it works out the same way each time. So what you can do, if you have log base a of x, where x is the argument and a is the base, well, you can say this is equal to log of some base b of x over log of some base b of a. Well, in our case, I just chose a base of 10 here, okay? And so I said log of x over log of a. Remember, this was 3 and this was 2. So this was 3 and this was 2, right? We found our answer by saying log of 3 over log of 2. So log base 10 of 3 divided by log base 10 of 2 gave us our answer. And again, that was about 1.585. Again, generally speaking, that's all you need to do. And your restrictions here are as expected. We have that a is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Well, a is the base here and the argument there. 
Then B is greater than zero, not equal to one. That's your base here and here. Again, that can be whatever you want. Usually you're gonna use a base of 10 or a base of E. So you can use those two kind of buttons on your calculator, the LN key or the log key. And then X here and here, that's gotta be greater than zero because in each case, it's just an argument. So let's just blow through a few of these. It's a very easy process. Log base four of 12 is equal to one. Again, just take, I'm just gonna use the common logarithm. So I'm gonna go log of 12. Okay, so log of the argument here, that's what comes first. And then over log of the base, okay, that's what comes second. So the base is four. And this would be approximately, because again, you've got an irrational number here. I'll say about 1.792. All right, let's look at another one. So we have log base square root of five of square root of eight. So again, all I'm gonna do, and this looks kind of hard, but it's really the same thing. You just punch it into a calculator. And I'm gonna use the natural logarithm. So I'm gonna go the natural log of, again, this argument here, so square root of eight, and then over, you're gonna have the natural log of, again, square root of five. So all you need to do is hit the ln key, square root of eight, divided by ln key, square root of five, and you're gonna get approximately 1.292. All right, let's look at one more of these, and then I'll show you something else. So we have log base one fifth of 20. So again, to set this up, I'm gonna say this is what? You can use LN, the natural logarithm, or you can use log, the common logarithm. Either one of those keys will be available. So I'm gonna use the common logarithm. So log of, again, the argument here, so 20, over log of, again, I'm gonna use this base here, so one fifth. And then, so this guy right here would be approximately, well, you type that into your calculator, you're gonna get about negative 1.861. All right, so in addition to those easy problems, we also get these kind of multiplication scenarios that come up. And these problems typically involve you needing to realize that you can simplify in some way. So let me go through one of these as a typical example. So we have log base three of four times log base five of nine. So the very first thing you wanna do is set up each with the change of base formula. So I'm just gonna use my common logarithm. I'm gonna say the first one is log of, again, the argument there of four over log of, again, the base there is three. Then times for this one, it's going to be log of, again, the argument is nine over log of, again, the base is five. Now, before you go any further and start typing this up into your calculator, you need to look and see if there's anything you can simplify because a lot of times they want you to show that, okay? So here, I know that I have a base of three. Let me just highlight that. And here I have a base of nine. So I know that nine is three squared. So the first thing you need to realize is that you wanna rewrite this as three squared like this. And then from your properties of logarithms, this guy can come out in front. So basically you can erase that and just put a two out here. Now you see that this is just multiplication involved here. So there's nothing stopping me from canceling this with this because those are common factors. Log of three over log of three is the same non-zero number. So you can cancel those, okay, and the result will be one. So you're meant to show that this will be simplified to basically two times log of four over log of five. And sometimes these will work out perfectly to be a rational number, but in this case, it's not going to be. So we'd still have to type this into a calculator and we would get approximately 1.723. But just be on the lookout for these because in a lot of cases, they'll give you a problem and say, show how you could simplify this. And they mean that you need to go through and cancel things like we did here.